in her shampoo bottle. <laughs> if I don't end up doing it, doing her while she's sleeping, so then I got to <laughs> Morningshowcentral.com. That was so weird. I didn't know. Did your battery just randomly pop out of your headphones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I, I turned them I on, heard put them on. And then saw you going, <laughs> the hell, where did that come from? <laughs> I thought I blew a vessel in my brain for a second because it was like right, right by me. Side. All I heard was Pop! right by my ear. It made the sound, but where, <laughs> the way I saw it, it looked like something came down from somewhere and nailed you in the head and bounced off your head. No, no, no. I just had a battery pop out, and I really did. I thought it blew a vessel in my head for a second. I think flew, too. <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. Is that like when uh, the the cell phones when they uh, spontaneously combust and they start blowing up? Have you heard about this before? No. There's been there's been you were the only one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, uh, again, it was on the news like months and months and maybe even like a year or so ago. Um, somebody. So by now we've had three other studies that first contradicted it, then confirmed it, then contradicted it again. The thing is, I don't know if they've ever done studies on it because it happened like so sporadically. Because there was one big one that happened. Where I think it was a female chick, a female chick. That's right. Yes. Um, where a female baby chicken um, had had her cell phone on was her, using a cell phone, right? Which is weird in itself. Story gets even weirder when she's sleeping and the phone's plugged in next to her, and the phone just exploded and like shards of her screen like cut her up a little bit. So all these other stories started coming out from the past. Oh yeah, it's happened before. It's happened before, and I don't know. Never looked into it. That's what I thought was happening with the headphones or something. Not yet. Uh, in case you haven't figured out, since I've been talking for about three minutes, it's the Project X show. <laughs> Old school version 2.0 slash 3. Well, I posted today and I was trying to... Know, divided by 3? I was trying to figure out how to post it uh, when I was posting about it on Facebook for people to listen tonight. I was like, listen, it's Project X old school. Well, kind of not really old school, but... <laughs> Old enough school and whatever. Uh, so that being said, I'm honored to my left is Pat. Across from me, by his lonesome this week, is Johnny Five. And in the production studio, that's not old school because we never had a production studio up until about a year or so ago. It's Chris at MSC Everyman. It does feel weird just the three of us in this room. Right. Mm -hmm. Have we done that yet? No. No, this is the... We did for part of a show one week. Oh, yeah, because we were waiting for somebody because to come. Because they were at, I think that was when they were at Sheen, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, because yeah. both of them went, right? Yeah. yeah. You were back for that by that time? You, well, I was here he, for he that. He happened to be here. I happened to be in town. Right. He and, wasn't back yet. Yeah. I was in town and, and... And made a special guest appearance. Yeah. Good timing. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, Spanish is no longer on the show. A girl, this is apparently her off week because she's only going to be here every other week this month. I'd like to know when contract renegotiations happen. <laughs> I never uh, heard the reasoning from her either. Why? Like, she seemed pretty upset last week, and it seemed mm -hmm. like it had to do with her job. I would say I thought it was work-related. It like, is. She can only it, get every other yeah, Tuesday she, off now. Exactly. That's what it seemed like. But she For this month. really upset about it, and I didn't want to ask her. And uh, then Rooster, also work-related. I'll, I'll be more upset about it next week. When she's back. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, Rooster has moved to Kentucky for six weeks. Temporarily. Temporarily. Uh, he's he's going to be training IHOP Cooks for six weeks. Saw him off on Saturday night. Um, one or two couldn't. Hmm? And I, I, I wanted to. Dude, you know, it I, was... I wanted to go, I wanted to go but um, kids. Every, yeah, everybody good. dicked out, dude. Everybody dicked out. Well, I figured a lot of people did when he posted... Number one, that he was just doing it at his house mm -hmm. versus when we were leaving last Tuesday night, he was discussing different options. Right. His house wasn't one of them. Right. <laughs> and and then when I saw another post like 45 minutes later going, come on, guys. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did feel bad about it, but yeah, it, it, kids, dude. I got two of them. Um, it's not like, you know. I don't think I even made it to Brian's going away, so I don't feel too bad. 
I don't think you did either. No, I, I'm pretty positive I didn't. Cause I, I, think that's, no, I know you didn't. That's when the future mother-in-law went to the hospital. That's also when our future former co-host was first approached about being our... That's also when my not future but past crazy fat ex-girlfriend was there and it was really awkward. Oh, well, I was like, just leave. Oh, she was a past future former co-host. I think that's what I meant. The one that we well, don't talk about. Well, at the time, about. Yeah. he was a future former. Yeah, yeah. Establishing a timeline, though. The past future former. Co-host. I'm so confused. Me too. Um, uh, If you're not already there, get to the website, projectxo.com, project spot with a K. Not with a C. Backwards if you can. We're yeah. awesome retarded. We're nice. awesome retarded. <laughs> Listen, it wouldn't be so confusing if you guys wouldn't have brought that sports book back and given it to Biff. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have. <laughs> Maybe we should have. We could be Alan Cox right now. <laughs> well, all we needed to do that was actually go back in time and do a demo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we talked about it. And we, I worked on it. We talked about it really seriously. I, I did. Telling you guys, I tried. I tried working on it, but I can guarantee you, he had that job before. Oh yeah. I, I, mean, I the even, door wasn't even completely closed behind the last guy, and he had that job. Well, so it been. I even started a petition for it. Yeah, we, yeah, we know there was a petition online. I'm fairly certain we could still find it if we wanted. I to. think I just saw it not that long ago. I was searching for it for the hell of it. I'll, I'll partly take the blame for that because I kept saying, "Nah, we got time, guys. We got time. They're not going to hire anybody new until after the first year. It doesn't make sense." <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks later, hey guys, I'm Alan Cox. Like my show, cool. <laughs> or whatever. Close enough. I listened to it today, and I uh, there was a time a few months ago um, when I came in, and I was like, all right, I actually forced myself to listen to Alan Cox. And I was like, it's not bad. Like, I wanted to say it was bad. I'm like, it, it wasn't horrible. And I'm like that uh, Zumok character. I was like, I didn't like him from no. the things I had seen and heard from him just locally before he was on the show, and I just thought he was going to be a complete train wreck. And I was like, dude, he wasn't even that bad. There was a couple shining moments of douche, but even then he wasn't that bad. And I listened again today for the first time and probably since that first time I listened, and uh, I don't know if I was on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> You're attracting it's, your previous statement. <laughs> right? It's or, real hit and miss, I've noticed. Well, yeah, it, it, like, it, they'll, so... they'll come up with some stuff that I'm like, that's genius. They'll come up with other stuff and go, he listens to our show. Right? <laughs> come up that's when we say it's genius. <laughs> wow, that's a genius idea because we did it two months ago. Yeah, that's. I still think we were getting sold out. I'm, I'm... <laughs> it's the only explanation for us. Pitching a bit in a meeting, and then two weeks later, him doing it. Well, isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'm not a huge fan well, of the, that show. I I can't. I can't get solidly behind it. There's plenty of times that I'll listen to it, and then I'll just go, "No, I'm done." There's times for me, like because I enjoy metal music. And he kind of has that metal music guy mentality, which I get along with those people. I like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, So sometimes I can relate with what he's saying, and sometimes he seems witty. And then Zumak talks, I'm just like, okay, whatever. Um, But today, for example, I've heard them say witty, funny things on that show where I was like, oh, that was funny, or oh, that was a good idea, or oh, I can't believe you went there with it. I wouldn't have thought about going there. They were talking about a story today Mm -hmm. about some woman – uh, in Minnesota, I believe, who apparently stole a $6,500 mink coat from some department store or something. Mm-hmm. And it was a fat woman, and she smuggled it out of the store in her panties. Okay. Mm-hmm. She must be very large to smuggle a mink coat right. in her panties. Uh, apparently, the mink coat was hidden. And in, living in the 80s. The mink coat was <laughs> hidden in her panties for three days. Uh, the store security didn't call the cops until after she was already gone they ended up finding the lady when they brought her in for stealing it they were still in her panties and she tried telling them that she sold the mink coat to try to get out of going you know jail time well i guess they ended up telling her you know we're not buying that you're gonna get jail time even if you did sell it so then she pulled the mink coat out of her panties apparently they didn't find it the first time they searched her was because when they hiked up her skirt and this is according to alan cox i don't know i didn't read the story they thought she was going commando so when they saw hair and they were like all right too far can't be there they thought she just wasn't wearing underwear um now okay that story is kind of gross and odd haha my problem with it is he takes it to Man, it's really easy to, to to steal stuff and to shoplift if you're a fat person because you can hide it in all your rolls. 
I'm like, <laughs> am I in the playground? And th- is really, are you getting paid to say things like that on the radio right now? Like, say what you will, and I will, about the Maxwell show or the Rover show, and I can only listen to uh, heroin, and I can only listen to, oh, I do stupid stuff, uh, play football in high school. Like, but at least it wasn't, oh, man, you fat people can hide stuff in their roles, poo-poo, caca. Like, shut up, dude. <laughs> shut up. I'm sorry. I'm so angry. That's still not the word. The one that made me hate my life for having gone to broadcasting school and not having a job in radio right now more than anything, it wasn't even a talk show. It was a on uh, on 96.5, I listened to a guy do take what should have been a, a 15, 20 second talk break mm. and literally make it a minute and a half. Oh, I remember you saying Because that. he decided he wasn't going to do the live read. He was going to have his intern, who was behind the board, do the live read. And the intern kept screwing it up. So he kept stopping the song that was already playing underneath them and restarting it and making him read it again, live on the air in a medium market. I was just like, Yo, this guy's getting paid <laughs> to do what I went to school for. It's Radio Gold, man. It's Radio Gold. I mean, said what's not Radio Gold, apparently. And if anybody can find this, please let me know. Either uh, uh, if you end up getting in the chat room tonight, post a link. And also, uh, you can send it to shows at morningshowcentral.com in care of us. Uh, Brian, the old host here, texted me the other day and told me he was listening to his old station in Kentucky, who was, I believe they were an active rock station, if I remember correctly. I believe so. I was only going to work there. What should I know? I only drove 18 hours round trip to find out I wasn't going to work there. (laughs) I'm not mad. Hey, you got to hang out with him, though. What was the station? true. Uh, ZZL. ZZL. All right, give me a minute. WZZL, Paducah's Rock Station. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Which is an awesome combination of words. <laughs> he he texted me. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning, you're not missing out. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot. Western Kentucky is whatever satellite coolness for Bob and Tom in the morning. ZZL, Paducah's Rock Station. Which makes people outside of Paducah go, Bob and Tom still have a show? <laughs> right. Not if you're from Youngstown. <laughs> Two different stations down there, dude. I almost forgot about those guys, too, because I was just talking with somebody about uh, having a female on, on a talk show like this or on a morning show. And, you know, the formula works. Almost all of them have them. You know, Stern with his Robin and the other guys with the other girls and this and this. I'm like, that. I'm like, Opie and Anthony. Didn't really. I'm like, oh, there was two other guys. They yeah, were syndicated course. in Cleveland for a while. Of course, of course, you know, Jim Norton's a giant bitch most okay. of the time. So you can make that counts. argument. You can make that argument. And then like it took me twenty seconds before I was like, Bob and Bob and Tom, that's right. Those guys. <laughs> the only reason I consistently assume they're off the air until I'll be flipping through and obviously not at my new house because we don't have cable right now. But <laughs> <laughs> before that, I'd be flipping through and come across, I think it's WGN, does them, like, shows their show. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. like they used like E used to do with Stern. Right. Yeah. It's like highlights of the previous day's show or whatever it was. Which, which you would think like would make it extremely short. No. Right? It's still like two hours, isn't it? <laughs> oh, like my that. God. It's, it's forever. Uh, it reminds me, I found another outlet, if you guys want to take this journey with me, that we can put our show on. Okay, since, you know, uh, we have other shows on the station that make to like to make their shows look nice and pretty for the backgrounds and stuff. And for years, I've held fast to we are a radio show, albeit an Internet radio show. Yeah, I'm still here, not for the visual. Mm -hmm. But since we have the capabilities, I'm driving through Brunswick the other day with my wife. We were going to a storage unit to get uh, some stuff out of it. And didn't realize we dropped the kid off with her parents and we were going to so she could spend time with them while we were doing storage stuff. It's like 530 at night. We find out that the storage unit, it's Sunday night, actually closes at six (laughs) o'clock. And if you're inside, once they close and lock the gate, you're screwed. Then You're inside until they open it. You you have to call the cops to get out. Now, granted, you can walk around the gate because there's no fence connected to the gate, but it just drops off. You can't get a car around there. So we're like, all right, guess we're not going to attempt this. So, well, uh, let's let the kids spend some time with the grandparents. We'll go get dinner in Medina. We get dinner in Medina. We're driving back on Pearl Road, and we're at Pearl and 303 going to her parents' house. And um, on the corner there, they have this automated sign that shows, like, advertisements for the cities. Go come to this public meeting, and the high school's doing this. And then it says, bat. 
It's just a watch. <laughs> it says watch bat. And there's a little like wannabe Batman symbol logo. I'm like, what the hell? And we're, and we're looking at this. There's no words. It just says watch bat. And I'm like, Brunswick area television. And she's like, I don't know. So we drive. She goes in and get the kid. And I'm Googling it on my phone. <laughs> and sure enough, it took me three seconds to find out. It sure as hell was Brunswick area television. And I'm like, what? Apparently, Brunswick has their own cable access channel. And it says, hey, we're looking for entertainment, guys. Well, so, I got a show you want to put on here. Give it to us. We'll do it for at least three months. So and we're, also, we're doing Otter's World? Sure. <laughs> sure. And also, they just launched in February 2011. You can now watch Bat TV <laughs> on the internet. I see where you're calling with this, too. We already have that avenue. I don't think mm -hmm. we need to go on their internet channel. No. Uh. But I think, because they said, as I'm reading, they said, not all of our shows are produced in the Bat Studios. What? All what? <laughs> Hello? That's awesome. All we need now is a puppet. Dude, we, we, we can, we can, uh, uh, J5, whatever became of those? Uh, <laughs> they are currently in, or they're probably in Montana. Nebraska. Oh, is that where is that? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because I didn't see that. And yeah. I, f I found the new Nickelback stuff, too. No, I want the new corn. This is what I started talking about. Um, the new corn that sounds oh. like Nickelback. Right. Oh, oh, give me a minute. And I couldn't find it. Um, Brian was listening By to By the his... way, that's the point of the story. Right. Yeah. We got a little sidetracked, which <laughs> never happens. Never happens. I'm just going to get right to the punchline. New corn. Sounds like <laughs> <laughs> he, he said uh, he couldn't figure out why he heard Nickelback four songs after he had just heard Nickelback on the same station and then told me that he found out it was the new corn song mm. and asked me what the hell happened and i've been scouring for like the past hour trying to find this thing and every song that i found there's only been two or three off of the new corn album that comes out in december i believe sounds like corn so i don't know what nickelback brian was listening to or if there's a song i'm missing <laughs> that would be kind of funny if it was the other way around <laughs> right he's like wow man he's like no you missed the point nickelback sounds exactly like corn now. <laughs> <laughs> i would love to see that Who's that guy? Uh, Chad Kroger, right? Yeah. I would yeah. love to see him doing some Zach De La Roca stuff with his <laughs> stupid dyed blonde long hair. Does he even look like that anymore? Uh, give me a minute. Uh, missing Judas Priest and Black Label Society tonight at House of Blues. Oh. House of Blues or the cute? I was like, just in general? You're, you're yeah. Missing. No. It's, I miss them a lot. I do. I, I do miss them. <laughs> The, the crap of it is, dude, I, and my mom, my mom used to be a cool cat, and uh, when I found out that Priest was coming, I texted her, and I was like, your boy Rob Halford is going to be in town. Oh, that explains why he's being interviewed and, over town recently. Oh, was he? Yeah. So she goes, she, she sends me a text back, she says, who's that? Now, granted, one of the first stories I remember my mother telling me about, like, when she was younger and rock and roll was she worked as a, uh, what are the, 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 those maids in the hotels? Cleaning ladies, she works House, as housekeeping. housekeeping. She, yeah, yeah, housekeeping. She worked as one of those ladies, and she said uh, she had to go up and take towels to this room. And she, she went up. She didn't know why there was security and stuff around. She knocks on the door, and lo and behold, Rob Halford answers the door, and she got to meet Judas Priest. So I think that she'd be like, "Oh, that's cool. Wow, where, when? Maybe I want to go." No, I'll bring him his towel. <laughs> right? Twenty-five years later, who's that? Like, are you serious? Didn't you meet these? Oh yeah, huh? I remember. She's an idiot. Yeah, he's still blonde. Is he still blonde? Yeah. What do you got for me? A picture? A picture of Chad Kroger? Oh, no, that's corn. Oh, okay. I don't want to know what they look like. I know what they look I like got, now. I, got their song. I don't think they look like Nickelback. Oh, yeah, we can't play their song, though. We're not allowed, apparently. We'll 30 seconds and we'll be good. Yeah. I, he actually looks like he <laughs> You can play in. all but the last two seconds and we'd still be good. You could play all but the first one and a half seconds. That's true. He, he looks like he belongs in Battlefield Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Just Not mid bite, man. It was that Fieldy. I, he just looks exactly like, like the forehead's high enough. That's Fieldy. Is this the one though? I think so. Is it from the ZZL site? I, no, it, this is actually from their website. They put it up on their website, corn.com. Sing. I can kind of see it so far though. Sure. <laughs> Not so much. Uh, yeah. As soon as that, that double game. kick was introduced. All right, you know what? Maybe now, though. I can see a stretch. I Ooh. Think. 
even though he has a very recognizable voice. I, I it's, can, I it's can almost see. like Corn and Corn and Nickelback had a kid. Yeah, it's more of a hybrid Ugliest sound. I wouldn't, and it was Corkleback. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Don't go with the easy nickel corn or cornelback. Just go straight for corkleback, <laughs> which takes us back to life goes on. So about that. <laughs> what are we doing here? We're he's, running over. He's you guessing on their next album. <laughs> that was actually him singing. <laughs> no, actually, you know what? I would pay to see Chris Burke. On stage with, with corn. dreads, with corn, with corn, <laughs> with dreads too. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the way they move on stage is the way he moves normally, so it's cool. He fits. You're flying away from me. <laughs> What's your idiot nominee? Uh, mine is at 1:30 a.m. Sunday, just outside of Palestine, Texas. The Chevy Tahoe, driven by Eric Sean Green, crossed the center line of Highway 287 and smashed into a Nissan Xterra. A passenger in the Xterra, 40-year-old Betsy Salazar of Waco, Texas, was killed. Three other occupants of the same car were taken to hospital in serious condition. Green was taken to a hospital in Palestine and treated for minor injuries. He is now in the Anderson County Jail, where he's being held in lieu of bonds, totaling $800,000 and facing one charge of intoxicated manslaughter, three counts of intoxicated assault. While police and medics were cleaning up that disaster... 27-year-old Matthew Mitchell attempted to navigate his Chevy Impala through the swirling sea of flashing lights of the fleet of police cruisers and ambulance on the scene. Unfortunately, he plowed into the Life Flight's chopper tail fin. Oh. Damages to the chopper were minor and was apparently able to whisk an injured woman to a local hospital. A, uh, a DPS trooper on the scene quoted Mitchell as saying, Why was the helicopter flying so low? <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell has now been charged with a DWI, and passenger Robert Hamm was charged with public intoxication. Wow. <laughs> uh, before we take our first break, I would like to officially, on the air, uh, thank our new sponsor, Pat's Kitchen, for providing me with food <laughs> tonight, because I was really hungry. I, let's be honest, it's Kathy's Kitchen. Whatever. <laughs> it's somebody's kitchen, and I got food from it. Uh, we're going to take a short break. When we come back. We have some Pamela Anderson stuff and some other crap. However, I had an experience this weekend. I finally took that class that I had to take for driving. <laughs> that was awesome. Did you, you hit? Did, I was just gonna ask. Did you hit a down police chopper? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say anything until the story. I'm I'm not quite sure that Pat and I should be in the same studio anymore because we <laughs> s- second week in a row we're both making the same like joke, jumping to hit the punchline before the other. <laughs> All right, from now on, you guys take turns. All right, so Johnny Five, you get the next one. Okay, you got anything? No. Okay, I got it. Then. <laughs> We're going to take a short break. You'll listen to Project X. Some retarded comedy all up in your face. Bad news, ladies, you got a girlfriend. Sorry. Sorry. I see you trying with the, and the, I know, it's not gonna work. I'm in love. You learn a lot when you're in a relationship. You start to emotionally develop. Like the other night, we were being intimate. I'm not gonna tell you what was going down, but she wasn't kissing me on the lips. And halfway through, 
true. I noticed she had a gray hair. And I learned that that's a lousy time to bring that up. That's a lose-lose situation right there. I was happy, now I was crying naked. I want to do for you right now my favorite sound I've ever heard in my entire life. This is the sound that girls make right before they're about to hook up with somebody they really like for the first time. And they want to, but they got to play it off like, hey, I am not a whore. I am not easy. But I'm going to let you in this one time. And that sounds just like this. do this. morningshowcentral.com You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on morningshowcentral.com Cocaine Energy Supplement Due to great consumer demand Redux Beverages has officially announced the return of its world famous Cocaine Energy Supplement It's now available at retail locations across the country as well as online at reduxdirect.com That's reduxdirect.com Don't forget to be part of the all new Cocaine Energy Supplement social network where you can meet other Cocaine Energy Supplement fans from around the world. Cocaine Energy Supplement. You can become a member. You can become a member by logging on to lovecocaine.com. Peak 99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Jumping from one web host to another can be frustrating. Finding a good web host can be unnerving for even the most experienced of web designers. That's why Uncensored Net Noise has chosen P99 Technologies as its web hosting supplier. Established in 1999, P99 Technologies has evolved into a first-class web hosting provider. Its 99.9% uptime rivals many in the industry. That's why they offer their 30-day guarantee, no questions asked. For more information, go to P99.com. P99 Technologies will help you get started with your web presence with honest and expert customer service. P99 Technologies, affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Coming at you from the rock and roll capital, it's an exciting and fast-paced global forum with the man who knows how to help get your band even better. Yeah. Doc Rock tackles industry issues with informed guests and invites your questions, concerns, and tales of band life. <laughs> There's never a dull moment in Doc's world of showbiz. He cares about artist issues and escalating your talents. So make an appointment with Doc Rock on Band-Aid. Thank you! Tuesday night, starting at 9.05, only on MorningShowCentral.com. Rise above the club.
honor, brand your identity, and make a statement. Broken Fan Media, expert video production, television and web commercials, music video, real estate tours, live concerts and events, state-of-the-art post-production, video and audio editing. Check us out on the web at brokenfanmedia.com, 434-944-0472. Broken Fan Media, the next generation of sight and sound. sound reinforcement and more guitar center has you covered guitar center located at 26635 brook park road in north olmstead has the tools of your trade with the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out guitar center in north olmstead morningshowcentral.com uses them you should too need to know more go to guitarcenter.com <laughs> Every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here. Uncensored Net Noise. On MorningShowCentral.com. From the Cocaine Energy Supplement Studio, you're listening. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. You know the fresh out of the shower feeling? Yeah, us neither. Project X. And the thing was, I was against it from the beginning because as soon as like, I text uh, both Pat and Brian, I was like, watching Brock Lesnar talk and try to broadcast with these guys <laughs> is like watching Bernie Kosar drunk doing a preseason Browns game. <laughs> because as soon as they're like, Yo, okay, and we now we have with us former UFC heavyweight champion Brock Lesnar, and he's like, yes, hello, <laughs> and he has this big smile. So I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop that. God, he's an idiot. I'll give him all the credit in the world for calling Dana out, though. Right? That's what I yeah, that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. Dana White's claim that Junior had fought all the top wrestlers at heavyweight. Right. Mm. <laughs> he no. He's like, no, no, he didn't. No, he's like, he, he hasn't fought Kane. He said he hadn't fought Kane, but could have just as easily pointed out, he hasn't fought me. And <laughs> yeah, the, as cool as that was to see, it also seemed like the little like the like I kind of felt bad for him as stupid as he looked to me that night because it looked like the little kid trying to get the attention and the approval of the dad <laughs> and Dana just kept brushing him off like yeah 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 okay so you were saying <laughs> like whatever and let's please note that we did say wrestler not wrestler because Brock Lesnar <laughs> was a very accomplished wrestler <laughs> he was also a very accomplished wrestler yeah that doesn't count um. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. If you're not already there, get to the website, Project Next Show. I can't promise probably okay. Now let's see. Backwards if you can. We're awesome retarded. We're awesome retarded. Because <laughs> let's point out that Bill Goldberg was also a very accomplished wrestler. <laughs> and now he's doing some show on Speed Channel still, right? Is he doing? So, I, I, I believe he still does. Isn't he still doing pinks? I don't know. He actually did MMA commentary yeah, yes, for a while, yes. though. <laughs> there you go. Uh, my idiot nominee comes from Sweden. A man called police to ask for help after he was stuck in a sealed baggage locker at a train station in southern Sweden. Police initially thought the call was a hoax, but when they went to the station in the southern town of whatever, Nazjo, Nazjo, do you pronounce the J's as Y's in Sweden? I don't remember. Uh, whatever. Yep. In the southern town of Nasdaq, they discovered a 25 <laughs> year old trapped in the locker. Uh, this is a quote. From Las Carlson from the Securitas Security Service in NASDAQ. Securitas? They have Securitas in Sweden? Why not? Did that come from Sweden, I wonder? I don't know. Sounds like a Securitas. Swedish word. Yeah. Mendo's like commercials do. I don't know why. Hilarious. This ties into what I'm going to talk about after my idiot nominee. I'll Mentos? Tell you why. Yep. The Freshmaker. Uh, the quote the from fresh the, the <laughs> security guy from Securitas says he fit inside with some he fit inside with some trouble and some I don't know how to do Sweden and some acrobatic it's exercises. To all your <laughs> you know how it's to do never so stopped well. you before. We might have a bet that's that's gonna that's deal so with that. So weak for your end of the bet. Though. Whatever. All you have to do is wear a snuggie. 
I'm I'm taking back everything I've ever said about my sweet sweet impressions and gonna actually say that they're terrible, which I don't believe, but I'll say it. <laughs> um, but this is serious stuff. If there had been a fire while he was in the locker, you can work out the consequences yourself. The man was stuck in the locker for more than an hour before he was freed. He told police his friends had put him in the locker. I thought that the, the police are like, there had been a fire when he was in. <laughs> well, you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> it's Sweden, dude. That's awesome. Are they known for barbecue? I know their meatballs are pretty good, but meatballs and nude beaches in the Alps, skiing in the Alps. Uh, the locker. And not backing up anyone ever. <laughs> <laughs> the locker measured about three feet by one foot. Sweden's got my back. Yeah, we're going to sit this one out. <laughs> yeah, other stuff to do. Now, I say this has to do with my story because um, I had to go to Triple A this past Saturday morning. Uh, at 8 o'clock in the morning, I had to be there. For my, I talked about a while back, I had gotten my fourth speeding ticket within a year, which is apparently uh, a a magic number. Serious punishable offense in the state of Ohio, or at least the city of Huron, because they put me on two years probation for this and also made me attend a defensive driving course, which I kind of thought I knew what it was going to be just from hearing. Well, and let's be honest is the problem that you don't know how to defensively drive? Or are they worried that everyone around you doesn't know how to defensively See, that's drive that's a well. good point. <laughs> that's a good point. Um, now, I was supposed to take this course back in August, but like a week before the course, I got a letter from AAA saying, due to lack of enrollment, this month's class is canceled. Uh, you have to go to the September one. I ended up missing the September one because I was hungover and woke up late. <clears throat> well, I never got the call from here on being like, hey, dude, we never got your paperwork. So I was like, maybe they forgot about me. You have Sweet. taken this class, right? Yeah, I did not. So, so it's safe to say that you were hung, hung over and slept in late, and that's why you missed the class. We the, can say that now. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. um, last week it was just, you know, there was something came up. And, sure. Yeah. Um, so, so then uh, here on ends up getting a hold of me in September, so a little while after, and they're like, you haven't taken this course. You gotta come back into court and tell us why you violated your probation. I'm like, all right, all right, I'll sign up again and pay another $60 and have to go to this other one. So I went this past Saturday. Um, it was only, it was right down the road from my house. It was right down Brexville Road. Uh, kind Otter, of, real quick. Did you say the Judas Priest concert is tonight? Yeah, that's what I heard. Um, do you have tickets for it? No. Do you want tickets for it? It's already started. Has it? Okay, well, I got. I can get you tickets right now if you want. How's that? Uh, JR um, from my show mm -hmm. just texted me and said he's got two Judas Priest tickets right now. Tell him to sell them. Tell him to go down and start scalping those babies. Yeah. Um, I would be breaking the law. <laughs> <laughs> breaking the law. That, breaking don't, the law. Don't, don't. It was enough that he said it the first time. Bam, you didn't bam. have to say I hate you. <laughs> 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 uh, breaking the law. <laughs> See, sometimes it takes both of us to make a joke. <laughs> Have you guys figured out the formula now? I think so. Um, Set up, punchline. So <laughs> I walk in, and I'm all tired, and uh, like, there's a Securitas guard at the desk, and she tells me to go up to the second floor. And I walk She's in. Securitas? Yeah, that's why I tied in. <laughs> I swear to God, she was from Securitas. AAA outsources to Sweden. <laughs> Apparently for their security, yeah. So I walk in and she said, "It's up the stairs." And then, man, you can figure out where I'm going. <laughs> I, I get in there and I walk into the room and there's the instructor, who's a guy that's about seventy years old, and Swedish. Three women, a black lady who I found out was around eighty-three. She couldn't remember. Um, another black lady who was probably in her fifties or sixties and had MS, and then an Indian woman in her forties. And the first thing I Who, think of, well, might as well have been handicapped. Sure. Because she was Indian. And uh, dot, not feather. And I walk in, I'm like, okay, so if they canceled on me in August because of lack of enrollment, <laughs> I was I the only the one? Game. Like, how can I? So I have to be at this thing. It's from 8 or 8 30 till 5 30. And the whole presentation is done on a computer with a video. And they give us a workbook that's about 50 pages long and it follows the video. And in between each section, and there's like, 30 sections in this thing. We stop and we discuss. And, and it's telling us how to drive safe and what to check on our cars and all these stupid things, whatever else. And we get to this, we get to the part where they're talking about alcohol. And they're telling us how you can get a DUI even if you're under the influence of over the counter or prescription drugs. 
Okay, so the one lady who, now, granted, the 83-year-old black woman was a sweetheart. She was a little not there, but she was 83 years old. She was a sweetheart. The Indian woman was kind of weird. The 50 or 60-so-year-old MS black lady was the dumbest person I have ever met in my life. Nice, but stupid. Stupid, stupid. First of all, she asked me in the middle of the class, uh, she was handing me a pack of gum, and I thought she was offering it to me. I was like, what? What? And she says, no, can you open this for me? What the hell? So I open it for her and I give it to her. She doesn't even offer me a stick of gum after I open it for her. So I'm already pissed. And <laughs> we're talking about the alcohol and the over-the-counter thing. And, and, and she, she raises her hand. And the instructor calls on her. And she says, so that five-hour energy drink stuff. And he's like, yeah, I don't think that's like a law. Like, I don't think you'll get in trouble if you take that and you're driving. She goes, no, what does it do? <laughs> like, is this lady serious right now? Like, I'm sleeping throughout this. At this point, it's like 3 o'clock. I just want to get the hell out of there. And he's like, he starts stumbling. He's like, I, I uh, go talk to your physician and ask him what effects it has on your body. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. I can, yeah, that sounds reasonable. So then it gets to the point of the class where we have to take a test. We have to get a 75% on this test in order to pass and get our little certificate that I can give to the court. Because I'm... The Indian lady was the only other court-ordered person there. The other two black ladies were there because they wanted knowledge. They wanted more knowledge on driving, was their quotes. So I'm taking this test, and uh, we're about to take the test, and the guy's handing them out, and he says, tells everybody to clear their desks off. Obviously, you don't want the open notebook with all the answers right in front of you when you're taking the test. So we all have our desks cleared off. And for about five minutes, he's saying, okay, I forget her name. We'll call her Berta. Um, okay, Berta, clear off your desk. She's like, okay. She gets her water bottle and her chips off her desk. And she leaves her book sitting there wide open. And then he's like, no, no, no. Like, you see, like, Ryan's desk, you know, clear, clear off your desk. Clear it off. Oh, it was a your teacher's pet? Yeah. It was that's weird, weird that there was be. an 83-year-old black woman named Ryan in the class. Right? That's <laughs> really weird. Uh, so, finally, he has to physically fold her book and put it on the side of her desk for her. So we start taking the test and it's 40 questions. And so you can't, you can only get like what, 10 wrong to get 75%. Mm -hmm. And I'm starting to look at the questions. I'm like, oh man, how much of this class did I actually sleep through? Because <laughs> I'm looking at these questions. I'm like, we either didn't talk about this or I zoned and slept through all of it and missed it. Like I finished the test and I'm going back and I'm looking through and I counted about 15 because a lot of them obviously were common sense things like you would take on your written driving test. But a lot of them were other kind of weird Things that you just wouldn't know unless you took this class. Now you know how I felt in my two years at Ohio State. <laughs> and uh, so I go back and there's like at least 15 of these things. I'm like, I'm, I'm sunk, dude. So I go up to the guy. I'm like, can you grade mine now, please? Because he's like, I'll grade them and then we'll send out Tuesday to let you know if you passed. And somehow I ended up getting a 90% on it. <laughs> I don't know how. I just completely BS my way through and I won. So now I'm done. But I still have to wait for my paper to send over to Huron. Well, in a semi-related story, in 1999, Securitas broke into the U.S. market. It's actually a European security firm. They acquired Pinkerton. European, but where in Europe? It, it doesn't say. It just says it. in... Commies. It just says uh, in Europe. They In 1999, they acquired Pinkerton. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2000 was the Burns. Um, yeah, Burns Detective Agency. Then they acquired five more. They are in... So many freaking countries. There, I know like, that I've got the, the list in front of me, and half of it it's, is redacted. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, I, I don't know what you call like their their, their headquarters, maybe mm -hmm. the Hall of Justice. They have uh, they have a Hall of Justice over by where the old BMV used to be in that Snowville Plaza before they made mm -hmm. the new one. Mm -hmm. I only know this because about maybe six years ago or so, I they went there to down the doors and held guns to you. No, I went there to get a job. And we get to the desk, and it's like so a lady has to buzz you in. First, you go up to the window, and they tell you, you state your business. I want a job. Okay, here's this application. I'll buzz you in. Come sit in here and fill it out. So I fill out my name and date and all that stuff that's usually at the top of an application and get down to the second part, and the first thing it says is um, if you have any misdemeanors, you can't work here. And I went in with two of my other buddies, and we all got to that same part at the same time, looked at each other, stood up, gave the package <laughs> back to the lady, and walked out. Stockholm, Sweden. Yes! 
It was really scary to have those uh, turrets pointed at you the whole time, too. I knew it sounded Swedish. Yeah, it is Stockholm, Sweden. Um, and it seems odd to me to have the world's foremost security agency. <laughs> <laughs> they have a Based brand. in Sweden. You know, you know why I think they get away with it? They have time to train because they're not doing anything oh, else. See. They're not actually utilizing their skills. It's not just that. They have really nice uh, army knives. Securitas in Iceland. Or in Ireland, rather. Not in Iceland. In Ireland. And as we all know, Irish make the best cops. I wonder if they adhere, so, like if it started in Sweden, and the Swedish people that by the start way. it have like a code of conduct, or if the different countries have different codes of conduct. Just so you know. I heard it too. I missed yeah. it. Yeah, you patch taken over for a girl. Okay. <laughs> That's all. You listen to Project X. Show toll free. 1 888 7422. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. If you live the lifestyle, then you should arrive in style. Lifestyle limousine service. Whether it's dinner for two, an evening at the winery, or a night out on the town, Lifestyle Limousine provides extraordinary service. Check them out on the web. LifestyleLimousineService.com. Reserve your ride now. 330-903-0508. 330-903-0508. Lifestyle Limousine Service. And make sure you tell them. Morning Show Central Radio. Radio Network sent you cocaine energy supplement due to great consumer demand. Redux Beverages has officially announced the return of its world famous cocaine energy supplement. It's now available at retail locations across the country as well as online at reduxdirect.com. That's reduxdirect.com. Don't forget to be part of the all new cocaine energy supplement social network where you can meet other cocaine energy supplement fans from around the world. Cocaine energy supplements. You can become a member. You can become a member by logging on to lovecocaine.com. P99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Jumping from one web host to another can be frustrating. Finding a good web host can be unnerving for even the most experienced of web designers. That's why Uncensored Net Noise has chosen P99 Technologies as its web hosting supplier. Established in 1999, P99 Technologies has evolved into a first class web hosting provider. It's 99.9% and uptime rivals many in the industry. That's why they offer their 30-day guarantee, no questions asked. For more information, go to P99.com. P99 Technologies will help you get started with your web presence with honest and expert customer service. P99 Technologies, affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Hey, unsigned fans. You are jam-packed. Hey, unsigned fans. Want your music heard? Yeah! Shoot us an email with the name of the band and the MP3 of the song. Send it to show at morningshowcentral.com. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on morningshowcentral.com. Here's some awesome retarded comedy all up in your face. It's so awesome because I've been on the road so much and Cracker Barrel is, is like, they're f***ing everywhere, Cracker Barrel. Like, have you guys been, have you guys been to Cracker Barrel? Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> Cracker Barrel! Our country is piled with fucking cracker barrels. Like if you're, at, and they're in the same places you're on a free. Where are you from? Uh, South Carolina. South Carolina. Mm -hmm. So you're on a freeway, and then there's a truck stop, and you look to the right. There's a fucking cracker barrel, like piggybacking on the side, and they're all exactly the same, because uh, rednecks get confused easily. Uh, like, I don't know. It's not a just old shit unless there's a hundred rocking chairs out front. One, two, four, hundred.
sad to see that many fat people in one place. <laughs> is, is he amazing? No, but his fans are amazing. They are? The best fans of people watch, like, ever. The people with the Confederate flag tattoos. <laughs> really? <laughs> yep, put it on there forever. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And this one says, up with slavery. Like, <laughs> why not? Is it just like full on racist apples? Oh yeah, just like and like women with like huge like fupas, like their jean shorts pulled up. Fat upper pussy, fat upper pussy. <laughs> like the, the huge feathered bangs and crimped hair, like you don't think that that exists anymore since 1992, but then. <laughs> but here's an Alan Jackson pie in your f***ing face. <laughs> this has been a really great conversation. <laughs> That's awesome. Do you like do you like do you like eating at the Cracker Room? I love it. It's pretty good. Oh my god. But everything there is like really bad for That's you. It's horrible. Everything's in lard. It, it is. <laughs> it is like it's and it's every animal. It's like you get a plate. It's literally like an entire barn took some sort of Jonestown suicide pack. <laughs> and you literally you, and then they and it's piled high because you don't want to burn any of the calories in between bites. Yeah. So you just shoving in, yeah. you get fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter, and then you, like, by the time you get up, your pants are all tight, and you've got, like, a mantle toe if you're a dude, <laughs> or if you prefer to call it a mussy, that's fine. <laughs> but you literally, like, you stumble out of the Cracker Barrel feeling all greasy and confused, but weirdly patriotic, but <laughs> the whole experience feels like a Toby Keith song. identity and make a statement broken fan media expert video production television and web commercials music video real estate tours live concerts and events state-of-the-art post-production video and audio editing check us out on the web at brokenfanmedia.com 434-944-0472 broken fan media the next generation of sight and sound if you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. Looking for reliable and affordable Shoutcast audio or video hosting. JWN Media offers complete Shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans come with full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits. A 99.5% uptime guarantee and friendly, knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy. With plans starting at only $3 a month, you have no excuse not to get a server of your own. Plus, with the option to add auto DJ and on-demand services, you can be confident your station will be all it can be. Custom plans are also available at their website. Simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the Shoutcast hosting link to get started right now. Even if you don't think we're funny, we still do. Project X. I have to do it. What? Being up early again, regularly. Do you watch The View again? Has No, I watch The Talk. Uh, has its advantages and disadvantages. Mm-hmm. One of its advantages being Regis and Kelly. Another of its Not advantages... <laughs> And I still don't know. Like, I actually watch that show on a semi-regular basis now, and I still don't know what they're doing with that show. Like, he's when done he this week. This week is his last week. Friday, he's gone. There really hasn't been a lot of publicity about this right. is who's replacing Regis. Yeah, you know what? They might not. Like, I don't know. They if might just go reruns for a while and then 
to come back with something completely different, and Kelly Rip would be out of a job too. Rooster's here. Um, oh, oh in the chat room. Yeah. <laughs> I was uh, saying, damn, that's a long drive. He made that really quick. Well, I thought maybe uh, they would do like when Regis would take like week long vacations, and they would have a guest host. Every day. Or they did, like, the radio personalities fill in. Sure. And I think one time, uh, Kelly Rippa's husband, who's some guy, mm-hmm. filled in, and apparently he was good. Mr. Rippa? Yep. Mr. Rippa. Chip the... Chip. <laughs> I almost said it, too. <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> I might be tired, but my brain's still on. A delay? Uh, it, <laughs> it's literally a seven-second delay. That's fine. Just enough. <laughs> He hit the dump button real quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, and one of the things that I saw, well, first of all, I saw, and 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 I don't know why I'm going to bring this up, but it's just really weird to me. Um, I think I saw this on the Today Show today. Do you know those shoes that chicks really like that are really expensive? Those Manolo Blahnik shoes. I yeah. thought you were going to say Crocs. No. Yeah, I said really <laughs> expensive. Yeah, oh, well, oh Crocs God. are still ridiculous. But are they expensive? No, man, Crocs are cool. Mario Batali wears Crocs. No, they're he, not cool. He wears orange Crocs to match his orange hair. Dumb. And, and he's Italian. Which proves he's dumb. Why does he have orange hair? Because <laughs> he dyed it? Uh, I have your answer for uh, Regis. Yeah, do you actually, a real thing? Yeah, this is uh, Gelman. Actually, he talk- I hate that guy. He, well, he talked to TV Guy in September. Like Oprah's Gelman? No, that's, that's... Oh, no, Gelman's his guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what they want to do is actually just let the show run as live with Kelly and have a slew of guest hosts, okay. kind of like what they did with Kathy Lee um, when she left. And then just and, see who works out. Yeah. So some they of have them, no some idea of them, Yeah, God. some of them will just be for fun, like actors and musicians and people that have busy schedules. Right. Sort of like my show on Friday. But there will be a lot of... Uh, <laughs> Only with a lot more people paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> um, but some of them will actually be legitimate contenders to take his spot. Right. And they're just going to see who works out. And, and he says, we'll do what I call dating. We'll have different guys come and we'll try them out. Check their chemistry, how they work uh, with the format, and how the audience reacts. It's easier to get audience feedback in this day and age with social media. I call that whoring her out. Well, um, what else? Is it's essentially for? it's essentially live auditions. Sure, yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah, who do you think would be best to take it? Who could be the next Regis Philbin? I bet we can start Doug a Stanhope. <laughs> I don't think he quite uh, <laughs> fits their demographic. We we should start a petition to make it us. All, th- <laughs> all three of us. We won't send an actual demo. We'll just get a you know what? Going. That would be cool. Though. <laughs> how about how about this? I'm on, on YouTube. ABC, do this. Okay, just completely <laughs> ditch live. Bring us on. We'll get rid of girl and have Kelly Ripa fill her spot, and that'll be the show. We'll come to the studio. She'd last a week. <laughs> we'll Once we talked about how dry her vagina was, she'd be out the door. <laughs> No, because she would just say, well, I have my OG Super Deluxe steam dryer at the house. <laughs> Put the moisture right back in there. I don't care, dude. She's still hot to me. Ugh. Really? Yeah. Ugh. When she's not so skinny, she's all right. Whatever. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Once again, only one in the room. Fine. I'll yeah. say it. <laughs> Uh, as far as for who would be a decent host, you have your obvious like for, your uh, Ryan Seacrest idiots. And, yeah, you know, honestly, I would not be surprised to see ABC take one of uh, take their only late night guy and try him out in the day. But then they wouldn't have late night, and they could make a lot of money on that. They could make a lot of money with somebody else on late night. What too. about and think about this, Tom Bergeron. He already does 18 shows on ABC as it is anyway. <laughs> Why I don't think more. The, you know, I don't think they'd, they'd even have to pay him extra. No, probably and I, well, he probably owns half the company by now. Sure. But it, you know, and it might not be a bad idea because he actually is a, a fairly funny dude. When he's not following he's, what's written for him on America's Funniest Videos. Yeah, I mean, but he's, he's you know, semi-engaging. Bob Saget. No, please. <laughs> no. Drew Carey. No. It's conflict of interest. Yeah. Price is right. Dave Coulier. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be fantastic, actually. Snake, DJ's one rocker boyfriend that was in Uncle <laughs> Jesse's band. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I talk about this because I... The uh, Beach Boys. <laughs> <laughs> Figure for All making of them? full house references. 
uh, because on, I, I saw this story on either Today or one of these morning shows that, oh yeah, first of all, the Manolo Blahniks, which I saw on Today. Okay, so there's two guys that run this company, right? Hey, is Rooster supposed to call in or not? If he has something cool to talk about. Um, and, and they're gay guys. Obviously. Really? Can you believe it? $800 stiletto heels that they sell, and it's gay guys. They're life partners that run this company. They also they also bought and operate a dairy farm in Connecticut. What? And it shows them walking around in like their gay clothes, like shoveling hay in their cows and stuff. They don't happen to have a TV show attached to them, do they? Not that I've seen. But they might for the dairy farm. I think I saw something about that. Like the life and times at the dairy farm. Or it, was it that, or is it like the fabulous Beekman Boys or something like that? Well, that might be. I don't know. You'd have to look that up. Um, I'm sure whatever it is, it's on E. So that was weird. The 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 thing that's more weird to me is, is the, that you thought that would be interesting. To us. <laughs> it was to me. How many times do you see gay guys walking around in thousand dollar clothes shoveling hay to cows? What was there, you know how uh, many times I've seen straight guys walking around? What, what were the names of these guys? Clothes. I I don't know. You're gonna have to Google Manolo Blahnik owners or founders or whatever, and then find their names. Um, Michael Jackson's death house. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, Chris, if you want, can you can you find only in Kentucky? Okay. Um. They, the, the Michael Jackson's death house, uh, they're going to start selling or auctioning off things from the house I'm that sure he died to pay in. pay rent. He had, he's got money, though. Like, remember right after well, he died, he doesn't, like, all that money? His he doesn't have much money at all these days. But I'm bummed. You know what I mean. Um, now, apparently, I was watching the story, and they were going through with this person from the auction house or whoever's going to be uh, uh, heading this fire sale of sorts. And the reporter's asking them, like, they're in the bedroom. And they're like, yeah, we're, we're going to be auctioning off the bed that he died in. And then they show the bed, and it's all nice and made. And, and, and they're talking about, so they're like, what, what all are you going to be auctioning from this house? And the guy, literally, as they're standing in the bedroom that Michael Jackson died in, says, and I quote, anything that's not bolted down will be getting sold. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, my God, dude. Damn right. They've showed, uh, and it says it in this article, um, uh, the, some of the things that are disturbing some people. One of the things that will be auctioning, be auctioned off, is a chalkboard in the kitchen that still reads, "I heart daddy, smile, it's for free." Something the kids wrote on the chalkboard that's still there. Or <laughs> disgruntled McDonald's employees. He, uh, he had, I guess, on his he has this mirror in his bedroom that he, I forget. Uh, I don't know if it says it in here. He has something like... Uh, of course he does. It's something of a fairy tale. It is. It's like it's, he has something written on the mirror like, you're going to do great today. Go out and wow him, kid. Like motivational little things on his mirror. <laughs> I'm good enough. I'm smart enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, so whatever. So they're going to be selling Michael Jackson stuff. If you want to buy it, look it up. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and Dr. Conrad Murray's going to jail. Um, Which is BS, dude. That being said, you think it's BS? Yeah, I do. Absolutely. Do you? Yeah. I, I kind of think that it's not. I, I think that he he probably should have done a better job making sure that his patient wasn't doped out of his mind. Let's but, it, but at the same time, who doesn't lie to their doctor? Well, is, are you calling BS because yeah. you think that what the defense says is possibly true, that Michael Jackson injected himself? I think that's a, a very strong possibility, actually. Okay. Well, then, if that's the case... I understand. I don't think, Michael, and if you looked at the case and what they said about the case and the way the guy acted in the aftermath, if it was Michael Jackson accidentally injecting himself, that's funny. Um, <laughs> then, in, in mental pictures and stuff. Oh, okay. Um, I was like, uh, I, mean, I was recounting every word in that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't get it. If it was just Michael Jackson injecting himself, a case can be made for, yeah, sure, dude, maybe you should have been paying attention to your patient who's doped up. Mm -hmm. However, why wait so long to try CPR? Why tell the security guards to take all the medicine and throw it in a suitcase? Why wait so long before calling 911? Why what looked to be some sort of cover-up before you yeah. even called. Because the doctor that the and, prosecution and, had said if they called 911 immediately, Michael Jackson would still be alive today. Well, you know, And it's easy to say that. Alive for Michael Jackson, but alive today. <laughs> well, and it's easy to say that kind of after the fact in speculation, but there's nobody can say that 100% for certain that's the way it would be. 
That stuff's nasty. Sure, that of you know? course. However, so, and, and, and twenty five minutes after the guy goes unresponsive, mm-hmm. you don't call nine one one until then. Especially if you're a doctor, you should have your head about you. Where you call nine one one, I'm starting CPR. I'm blah, 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 blah. He was like panicking. Well, you know, everybody's prone to sometimes. Do you think about it this way? You've got the single biggest pop star on the planet in front of you dying. Do you think you're not going to panic a little bit? Sure. You, are you going to be in your right mind? But you're a and doctor, man. Yes, but that doesn't mean anything. I mean, you were in the military. It's full of combat medics who are trained. Michael to, Jackson never fought with us. Just <laughs> You are trained to respond in the most stressful of situations, and they just completely... Buckle. Let's put they it this have way. a meltdown. It, it can happen to anybody. Do you think he should at least be stripped of his medical license? Which yes, I do. I do think that. And in taking that away, you can you can guarantee that he's not going to make. It, it's the same as sending him to jail. He has nothing ahead of him either way except a book deal. Sure. And which right? is what the people said about the Casey Anthony thing, too. Well, she wasn't found guilty, but she's going to be living in her own personal hell, and that's jail enough, whatever. Um, my would, thing is, I don't know Boo about the guy. I don't know him from Tom, Dick, or Harry. Mm-hmm. But seeing the little snippets that I actually saw from the court case that would show up on the news every now and then, I felt bad for him. Mm-hmm. I felt that, like, even though knowing that it seemed he tried to cover it up, just seeing him sit there like he was completely stoic. He didn't have any reaction. He almost looked sad, but he wasn't like crying. I was like, that kind of still like he wasn't you know what the, shaking his head. He wasn't being a dick. He was just sitting there. I'm like, ah, oh, that the, sucks, man. He uh I watched a good deal of the stuff that I could find online, and he did get emotional when his other patients were talking about him. Yeah. I mean the guy and he is a I wouldn't say a great doctor, but he's better than passable. However, you know however, this kind of made this guy's life. Yeah. He there's a reality show in the making here. Yeah, tell me you can't see Prison Doc on Bravo. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting for the empty Propofol bottle to be on eBay. If it's in the house, yeah, I'd imagine it's that going. got taken as uh, evidence. Well, Somebody will get. Might that be out another of one of the better something. I want to try this stuff. See, uh, and, and, and no, I, you don't want to try this. My dad was on that stuff for three days, dude. They really screwed him up. He's alive. <laughs> I know, but it screwed him up though. <laughs> it's not gonna kill me. Whatever, I'll try it. Um, well, I don't know, because I've now heard of two people taking him, and one of them's dead. <laughs> it's a 50% chance. I'm willing to risk it on his life. Yeah. Yeah. As that. long as he does it on the air. <laughs> I'll take those odds. It goes back going old school. If it's going to happen, it needs to happen on the air. What's, what's the lethal amount again? Live remote. Um, the thing that His kinda, wife's a nurse, dude. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. She knows about propofol. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Of course, the one person that died taking it had a doctor helping him. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. If my wife calls nine one one right away, <laughs> which she won't, because let's be honest, it's you. That guy said it depends. Oh no, never mind. He probably doesn't have death benefits at his job. No, <laughs> I was gonna say it depends. Is she the beneficiary? I work at a bar, dude. <laughs> well, that's what I said. Hello? You don't have death benefits. <laughs> My death benefits at my bar are, okay, this is a crowd that likes to riot. So if a riot breaks out, run riot. to the basement and leave your register. <laughs> um, uh, the thing that creeped me out, and we talked about the Michael Jackson after he died and stuff, and, and I, I was a firm believer and still am that he didn't rape the little boys like Jerry Sandusky did. But uh, I love throwing it back to somebody we were talking about earlier. He got all up in arms because somebody made a comment about how, made a joke that, Jerry Sandusky's lawyers can't get him off because only 10-year-old boys can. Mm. And he was like, no, nothing's been proven yet. and nothing's... Did that stop, I guarantee, him from sure. making the exact same sure. jokes <laughs> when Michael Jackson was accused? Absolutely. Absolutely. So because the guy's a college football coach instead of a <laughs> huge celebrity, it's not okay to make the same joke? No, of course not. Um, th- was that, uh, th- that he called the propofol his milk? And wine was Jesus juice. Uh, so, I mean, let's. Dr. Murray, give me my milk. <laughs> what? That's so creepy. Yeah, now it looks just like it. Now too. I'm starting to rethink. I'm like, maybe, maybe he <laughs> did. Um, so, whatever. They're selling this stuff. I don't know where we were going with that. I just had to talk about it. We were going to talk about these sounds. Did, did Rooster call? Is he on the phone? Is he waiting for a time? No, he, he called twice the, and hung up. I was like, he left the chat room. I know that. Did I, we answer when he called? Yeah, I can, I can call him back if you want. Try calling him back. Yeah, let me see. So I'm just going to wait to talk yeah, about he, these sounds. He, he left it like three minutes ago. So I don't know. But we did answer. We didn't hit the FU button. I, no. <laughs> I, so Friday night, 
uh, it was kind of cold Friday, so we didn't want to let the kid go out and play after he got home from school. And it's been kind of crappy all day. So we decided, well, we're not going to try to keep him penned up in the house, though, because we both, I was off of work for the holiday, and the wife got off early. So she went and picked him up from the after school care and brought him home. So we decided we'd take him out to the mall in Strongsville mm -hmm. and just kind of walk around for a little bit, check the place out. We were looking to get a new jacket for him so we could check some stores. And we're walking around. And afterwards, we decided we were real hungry. We were, we were out there for a decent amount of time, decided we were too hungry to. Uh, Is this a jerky, boys? Come home <laughs> first. <laughs> I'm just trying to kill time until he picks up. <laughs> Should Your we, daughter, she kicked my dog. Should we <laughs> should we order pancakes if he opens? If he answers, <laughs> he's like he's pissed. He's like, Can I he's, get a short stack and a side of bacon? He's pissed that Chris hit the fu button on him, or he's listening to the show on his phone, or he doesn't know the number. Oh yeah. yeah. What number is it? That it's it's, our, it's a studio line. It's not the eight hundred number. Hey, reached Rooster. Uh, sorry, I'm not. Let's able leave to a voicemail. My phone right now. But if you leave a name and a message, I can get back to you. This thing's awesome. Really that it said Rooster. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, am I the one leaving it? Why not? This is a voicemail. Call us back. You were trying to call, and Chris hit the FU button I on you. I did not. He said he hit the FU button, did but not. we're ready for totally you to call now. You. Um, bring us pancakes. Bring us pancakes. <laughs> Airmail delivery. You can make it. Bye. Bye. So, <laughs> we, uh, like I said, we, we decided we were kind of hungry, and we were driving around strong, so we were looking for somewhere to go to eat because the wife's finally hitting her craving stage oh yeah and it hit thursday night and it was uh chicken sour cream and cheese that but we don't good yeah it doesn't sound bad we don't have any d good like mexican places around us to go okay she she fiended especially for this one, this one down on the ridge by, it just opened it, it wasn't we didn't think it was open yet oh, okay um but we fiend, she was fiending for, there's especially one that she loves that's down by her mom's in Akron. Mm -hmm. So we ended up not getting anything, went to bed. She woke up fiending for the same thing. So we're like, all right, well, let's find somewhere. And we're going to go, we finally settled. We we're going to do Applebee's. Because if you want good quality Mexican, <laughs> well, you go to Applebee's. I used we couldn't to cook find, there. We couldn't it find. Very Mexican. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Every cook back there is. Uh, we couldn't find anywhere that we were going to sell. Because I wouldn't eat at a Mexican, at just a Mexican place. Neither would the kid. Right. So we were going to find somewhere else where she could get something to at least kind of satiate the, the cravings. Mm -hmm. So we went to Applebee's, and this place is packed. We're like, well, it's a Friday night. Of course, they're busy. I walk in. There's people outside on the sidewalk. There's people in the entryway. There's people sitting. And, and I'm just like, what? what is going on? I think we got it. I think we got him. Rooster, are you back? You know it. Why'd you Why'd you hang up on us? Uh, I didn't get put through. He don't love us no more. <laughs> Shaniqua don't. I love hit <laughs> I hit the button for accept, and you were sitting there for a while, so I didn't know. Um, it was complete dead silence on my end. Uh, so so you've been in Kentucky for like two days now, and and you, and you already have an only in Kentucky for us. You say? I, I it's it's a it's a good starter. Well, let's let's find out. Let's play that intro. Cause I haven't heard it in forever. I don't, what? I, what? What? It's not there. You thought you said you had it. I did. It was it was. <laughs> long. I hit play and nothing happened. Does anybody remember how that goes? Only in Kentucky. So, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> let me get it. <laughs> Rooster, just tell the story. We're running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. I was hoping, but uh, yeah. So. It's a very long, annoying drive. So I just to, uh, From the back uh, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. When moon shines plentiful, and you're able to have sex with your sister, <laughs> here's our reporter. Spanish. With only in Kentucky. <laughs> That's even wrong. <laughs> what? I'll fix that. I love that I, it was the dub that. over to the second person to do one. I, I that was wrong. Yeah, I, I will. We will fix that. I didn't know there was a Spanish one. Yeah, I remember him coming up with something at one point. Well, Rooster. I think it was for an idiot of the week or something. Well, now go ahead. Rooster, go ahead. All right, so it's a really long drive on the way down here, so I started paying attention to stuff I saw on the side of the road, which happened to be several dead deer. But only in Kentucky will you find them not on the road dead, but on the back of a trailer dead. <laughs> 
<laughs> if you do by chance happen to find them on the side of the road dead, they're not on the side of the road dead. They're exploded <laughs> down at least a quarter mile stretch. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you only have to sit there so long for the trailer to show up and pick them up. <laughs> or they fell off well, the trailer. Well, I didn't stay long enough to see that, so it's very well, very well maybe the case. That's hilarious. Now, on top of the multiple amounts of dead animal I've seen, which it was over 20, um, the people down here are not only nice, but very Boomhauer esque. They are hard to understand. <laughs> Tell them to take their teeth apart when they talk. It gets better. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that a lady that I had to do server training with today was drooling as she was talking. <laughs> She's not going to make the cut, right? No, no, not at all. Because I'm not tipping her. <laughs> if her saliva is, with is a bib. her saliva is already on my food when I start eating it. Listen, Pat doesn't even like ketchup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, other than that, everything else going smooth down there? It's actually going pretty smooth. Um, yesterday was unload the truck, take everything out of boxes, uh, inventory everything, wash it, and then stock up the store. Uh, today was server orientation, which uh, you've got a lot of hot southern girls in no, that's not saying much. <laughs> not in Kentucky. Well, mostly because their dads have dibs. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's hard. It's hard to get around the dad because he's got the shotgun, and I've just got a spike in my Spatula. face. Spatula. <laughs> uh, the hotel uh, down here is saying that the country in uh, suite is actually a pretty badass first hotel I've ever stayed in that has not only a couch and a chair, and a footstool in it, but it's got like a hidden friggin' uh, fridge underneath the TV. Why is it yeah. hidden? As like it's it's like it, the it, looks, bar, it huh? looks like it's on an armoire or like a giant TV stand with uh, drawers. If you don't know what the hell an armoire is, I was gonna say why do you <laughs> even know why do you even know the word armoire? Because I tried to buy a TV stand once, and the guy was like, "Oh, you like this armoire?" And I was like. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is. yeah, the TV stand with drawers, that one. <laughs> the French one. I'll take the French one. All right, man. We'll keep your eyes and uh black. Keep uh keep your eyes and ears open this week and we'll talk to you next week. Oh, you got it. I got the cooks in tomorrow, so it should be fun. All right, man. Take it easy, we'll talk to you. Take it easy, guys. Peace. I kinda wish I was back in Kentucky now. <laughs> For the armoires in the hotel. <laughs> for the, the armoires in the hotel. I had fun, dude. I had fun when I was down there. And granted, it was because I got to be a little kid with Brian for a few days. I was like, because you were hanging out with Brian. <laughs> but it was still fun. Uh, we're going to take a short break. When we come Here's back. Here's an idea. Get him back here, and we can all be little kids together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get right on that. Because <laughs> I know one person that I sit next to I would not mind <laughs> losing <laughs> at for all. For him to get a seat again. Hell Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna take I, have to do it, I have to do a lot less work if I'm over there and he's over here. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do a lot less work if you're over there and he's over here. When we come back, we're probably going to talk about sounds. You're listening to Project X. Call the show toll free. 1 888 668 0742. You're listening to Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. Check out Uncensored Net Noise every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, right here. Uncensored Net Noise on MorningShowCentral.com. If you live the lifestyle, then you should arrive in style. Lifestyle limousine service. Whether it's dinner for two, an evening at the winery, or a night out on the town, Lifestyle Limousine provides extraordinary service. Check them out on the web, LifestyleLimousineService.com. Reserve your ride now. 330-903-0508. 330-903-0508. Lifestyle Limousine Service. And make sure you tell them. Morning Show Central Radio. Radio Network sent you. Here's some awesome retarded comedy all up in your face. 
That's the thing. There's so many stuff. There's so much stuff to worry about. You know, the more you know, the more you don't know and shit. You know, like a lot of people be telling me, Dave. You know, you just gotta relax. The racism thing be bugging you too much. I be thinking about it. Sometimes shit'll happen. You know, a lot of black people can relate to this. Have you ever had something happen that was so racist that you didn't even get mad? You were just like, God damn, that was racist. That was racist. <laughs> I mean, it was so blatant, you were just like, wow. Like, it almost like it didn't even happen to you. It was like a fucking movie. That was a, like he was watching Mississippi Burning. Wow. That happened to me. I, I was in Mississippi. I was in Mississippi doing a show, and I go to the restaurant to order some food. And uh, I say to the guy, I say, I would like to have, and before I even finish my sentence, he says, the chicken. <laughs> I could not believe it. I could not believe that shit. This man was absolutely right. I said, how did he know that I was gonna get some chicken? I asked him, I said, how do you know that? How did you know I was gonna get some chicken? He looked at me like I was crazy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Now, everybody knew as soon as you walked through the goddamn door, you're gonna get some chicken. It is no secret down here that blacks and chickens are quite fond of one another. <laughs> then I finally understood what he was saying and I got upset. I wasn't even mad, I was just upset. I wasn't ready to hear that shit. All these years, I thought I liked chicken because it was delicious. <laughs> Turns out I'm genetically predisposed to liking chicken. Why? I got no say in the man. I got ruined chicken for me. I'm scared to eat it in public. I don't I want somebody to see me and say something. You know what I mean? Like you be eating some chicken. in the encyclopedia. <laughs> Look how happy he looks. <laughs> Cocaine energy supplement due to great consumer demand. Redux Beverages has officially announced the return of its world-famous Cocaine Energy Supplement. It's now available at retail locations across the country. As well as online at RedoxDirect.com. That's RedoxDirect.com. Don't forget to be part of the all-new Cocaine Energy Supplement social network. Where you can meet other Cocaine Energy Supplement fans from around the world. Cocaine Energy Supplement. You can become a member. You can become a member by logging on to LoveCocaine.com. 99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Jumping from one web host to another can be frustrating. Finding a good web host can be unnerving for even the most experienced of web designers. That's why Uncensored Net Noise has chosen P99 Technologies as its web hosting supplier. Established in 1999, P99 Technologies has evolved into a first class web hosting provider. Its 99.9% .9 uptime rivals many in the industry. That's why they offer their 30 day guarantee. No questions asked. For more information, go to P99.com. P99 Technologies will help you get started with your web presence. With honest and expert customer service. P99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Rise above the clutter. Brand your identity. And make a statement. Broken Fan Media. Expert video production. Television and web commercials. Music video. Real estate tours. Live concerts and events. State-of-the-art post-production. Video and audio editing. Check us out on the web at brokenfanmedia.com. 434-944-0472. Broken Fan Media. The next generation of sight and sound. If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. Hey, unsigned fans. You are jam-packed. Hey, unsigned fans. Want your music heard? Yeah! Shoot us an email with the name of the band and the MP3 of the song.
song. Send it to show at morningshowcentral.com. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on morningshowcentral.com. Looking for reliable and affordable shoutcast audio or video hosting? JWN Media offers complete shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use. All plans come with full listener stats, custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website, full server control, super fast network, and huge bandwidth limits, a 99.5% uptime guarantee, and friendly, knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy. With plans starting at only three dollars a month you have no excuse not to get a server of your own plus with the option to add auto dj and on-demand services you can be confident your station will be all it can be custom plans are also available at their website simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the shoutcast hosting link to get started right now we now return to the show that's better than two hours with a hooker well better priced at least project x I really got to figure out this eating schedule thing. Like, my eating schedule is what's making me not get sleep now. Because since I'm up at, go to bed at midnight, up at 2.30 to eat again, don't go back to sleep till about 5.30, then have to be up at 7, and then don't go back to sleep because I eat again at 8. Which sucks. You're not right there, get the website, project, next show, I can't press the okay. That was C. That was C. That was C. Uh, you Diane Weist. <laughs> <laughs> Funny story is I was doing a crossword this past week. <clears throat> um, all right, so it, uh, my idiot. The, t- the tanuki is a Japanese breed of dog. They okay. call it a raccoon dog. Kind of looks like a raccoon. The I'll tanuki in the Mario franchise is the little raccoon suit that we've they all come to know and love that he can fly with. I didn't know they had a name. Yeah, yeah. well, it's the it's tanuki sweet. suit. Hmm. PETA. Oh, God. Has attacked Mario for wearing said Tanuki suit <laughs> because well they just released uh, Mario 3D Land mm-hmm. uh, two days ago on the 13th. Uh, so Peta has issued a statement saying the Tanuki may be just a suit in Mario games, but by wearing the skin of an animal, Mario is sending the message that it is okay to wear fur. He's also sending the message that wearing the skin of an animal <laughs> makes you fly, <laughs> especially an animal that can't fly. <laughs> We, How do you know? Have you ever seen a raccoon flap its tail really hard? <laughs> yes. Uh, it Lies. says, we created our game to help inform people that in real life, Mario would be wearing the skin of an animal who was beaten, strangled, or electrocuted, and it wouldn't have give him any special powers other than the power of self-deception. Tanookis are real-life raccoon dogs who are beaten <laughs> and, as PETA's undercover expose show, often skinned alive for their fur. Uh, this winter, everyone can give raccoon dogs and other fabulous animals a one-up by keeping our wardrobes fur-free. That's PETA's statement. Nintendo then fired back with, yes, but do-do, he also... Do-do, do-do, do-do. <laughs> they fired back with, yes, but he also wears a frog suit and a penguin suit, and you didn't say anything about those. When, I can't remember the penguin suit. I know the frog uh, the suit. The new one. Oh, okay. Yes, the, newest one. the one that we have yes. and play all the but time. But PETA has released a side-scrolling 2D game. Uh, it's called Super Tanuki Skin 2D. Oh my God! I it hate is you. Oh, it, it's it's it, this is fantastic. Um, this is directly from from Forbes. As part of the campaign, PETA has also created an over-the-top side-scrolling web-based video game called Super Tanuki Skin 2D. It features a skinless Tanuki chasing after Mario, who is attempting to fly away while wearing the animal's blood-drenched pelt. It is unsurprisingly not a good game. <laughs> so, <laughs> is that the cover? Unbelievable. <laughs> yes. Unbelievable. It's fantastic, is it not? So, uh, PETA, specifically, uh, Vice President, Executive Vice President Tracy Raymond, Ryman, however you say her name, because uh, she's the only one actually quoted from the organization. Is you know what I love is that, is that she's saying that it teaches kids that, you know, if you wear the fur of an animal, blah, 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 you can fly. It also teaches kids valuable lessons like, if you eat a mushroom, you grow, you grow to two times your size. <laughs> and if you eat the right flower, 
you can shoot fire from your nose. <laughs> Go around punching brick walls and you'll get money. <laughs> But let's take issue with the fact that a dead animal skin makes you fly. And, and, and if you jump on a turtle enough times, you'll get an extra life. <laughs> but only if you do it on the stairs at a certain point on one level. And if you see a flagpole, run up the stairs and jump on it. <laughs> the higher you get, the more points. Yeah, we don't take issue with the fact that this guy's punting turtles 100 yards in every level. Mm. That's cool. Squashing yeah. mushrooms. And unlike baby Jessica, it is smart for you to jump down unmarked pipes. <laughs> yeah. In the dungeon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I to finish what I was saying last break about the, <laughs> about Applebee's. So we get there, and this place is packed. Literally outside on the sidewalk, the foyer, the entryway, everything is full of people. And I was like, well, I'm just gonna, you know, the wife and the kids stay outside. I was like, I'll walk inside, see how bad the wait is. And I couldn't even get to the hosting station. I haven't seen a restaurant like that in a long time. And I was just like, Ugh. and I stood there for like two minutes. I was like, no. <laughs> and I turned and I walked out. I was like, let's just go. You know, I'm not, I can't even get to the hosting station right now. And there's this older couple out on the sidewalk who she must have been talking to. And as we're walking away, the guy calls out, uh, Olive Garden's giving away free meals too. And I turned uh, around and I yeah. looked at him. Okay. Yep. I looked at him and I was just like, Forget and he could tell by the look on my face. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> and he said something. I was like, oh, it's Veterans Day. They're giving away free food to veterans. Yeah. Oh, oh <laughs> Subway, Subway was also doing the six-inch sub of your choice. Golden Corral, too. So we were going to do... Uh, well, that's barely food. Uh, well, I'm just saying. We actually almost went. We were going to check the one over by our house, and she saw. She decided on Rockney's because she knew I'd eat Rockney's. Mm -hmm. We never eat there because she never cared for it very much. Love that place. Too. But we we went in there, and that was still. I don't think they were doing free meals. They had just opened the one out there in Strongsville, though. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm sure they were getting plenty of overflow traffic from the other places all being so busy. But it was like a, a 25 minute wait, and they had like a, a chicken fajita wrap. That was exactly what she was looking for, essentially. So she got her fix. Yeah, she got her fix. And Ro Rockney's has the sauerkraut balls. Yep. And they make the world's best martini for a bar and grill style. I Well, that's the funny thing is I she, uh, she was like, well, you know what you're getting? I could just get the appetizer, the sampler, and fries. With no sauce. <laughs> well, they bring it. I just only use the marinara. <laughs> 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 like the the sampler in front, she was like, "That's all you're eating." So I handed her the menu. I said, "Read that description." <laughs> there was like twelve things in the description. Right. I was like, what you, "I'm not even gonna finish that." What do you mean? Is that all you're gonna eat? You know, you could have got off a lot cheaper though, because uh, you said chicken, cheese, and sour cream, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Taco Bell. The, she, the chicken her, flatbread. I, that was the obvious choice Thursday night. Yeah. But she wisely pointed out that that would not stay in her stomach once she ate it. This is true. Yeah, it could have. <laughs> You never know. Because that was the issue, is that she wanted these things, and Taco Bell wouldn't stay down if she ate it. So, mm. Well, see, now that's what Brittany thought about uh, Arby's cheese sticks, because she's always loved them, been able to handle them, like, no problem, until she was pregnant with Connor. Well, and that's the Rockneys that they would stay down. Mm. Yeah, you're going to have a <laughs> so, lot of that, by the way. I've had a lot of that. No, I mean a lot more. <laughs> It couldn't get more. Literally, any time <laughs> she ate, it came back up. <laughs> Unless she's puking things she never <laughs> ate, but I can't get more of that. And it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I ate that like three months ago. What the hell? You're gonna, yeah, it, it's going to be, when did you eat your shoes? Pat, J5's <laughs> a veteran. Listen to him. <laughs> I, everybody can react differently, I'm sure. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I say try it out. So I just yeah, feeding her the nastiest there's, stuff. There's going to come a point where she starts to feel better. Like everything that she eats is going to be, you know, well, and she walk, has. It's and then not, out of nowhere. It's going to hit three times harder than ever. It's not as bad as it was before. Because I mean, it literally was. If she ate anything, mm -hmm. ten minutes later, she was in the bathroom throwing it right yep. back up. I'm waiting for projectile vomiting at Pat. Now, has no, she, she's very careful. That. She, has she and said? I, my nephew took care of that. The first four times I saw him, it was a tradition. He puked on me the first time I held him. <laughs> tradition. It was, literally. The first four times I saw this kid, every time I'd pick him up, it was just, bleh. Yeah, Uncle Pack. Um, I was like, this needs to end before you grow up, please. Now, did she, <laughs> do you know if when she was pregnant with Ty, was she like that? No, she was not. Because I was going to say, man, you know she really loves you if she knew she was like that and still no, agreed she, to have a she kid. she did not have morning sicknesses bad with her first kid. She, she did, neither did Brittany. It seems like the second kid's always worse. Or it's Pat's seed. 
that's entirely possible too. We're both There's a lot that she digests that my baby is just like, no, <laughs> <laughs> Mexican. What are you doing? I am not eating this. I don't even eat ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say that. What the hell is that salad dressing? Get out of here. <laughs> Uh, I'll, you know, we haven't discussed that. I may point that out to her when I get home. <laughs> that may be the issue at hand. You might just want to start eating everything plain <laughs> and nothing ethnic. <laughs> and I guarantee, dude, if it helps, it'd be the best story ever. How pissed would she be that you didn't think of it earlier, though? I know. Oh, <laughs> trust me. The Go fact that hell? someone else had to suggest it to me. <laughs> uh, mentalfloss.com. Here's a list from Kara Kovalchik. I can't tell from this little pixelated thumbnail of her how old she is. I'm going to say she's writing for mental floss, probably kind of old. Right, which I'm thinking makes sense because it's a list of the 11 sounds that your kids have probably never heard. And I was skimming through the list. I'm pushing 30, and I'm not sure that I've heard. <laughs> what's, what's her name? Some of these sounds. Kara Kovalchik. K-O-V-A-L. Got it. Got it. Uh, number one is a rotary dial telephone. My kids heard it. Uh, I barely heard one of those. I think the reason I heard one of those and the reason my kid has is because we actually have one in our garage that was there when we moved into the house. I was going to say, you realize the toy ones don't count. <laughs> what? Do you mean they don't all have that bell on it like that? <laughs> <laughs> I can't pull them around on their wheels and their eyes don't go up she and down? She would be mid-50s. Oh, yeah. Well... Yeah, okay. That makes sense-ish. Uh, number two is a manual typewriter. Heard that. Too. That one I had to think about, but as she described in the article, it actually does make sense. Like, who, what kid these days has seen someone? And my kid has heard that, and I can explain how my kid's heard. I can guarantee he's heard almost everything on this list, if not everything. TV. Well, and that's the point. Antenna TV, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's true. Antenna TV, dude. Yeah, I didn't think about you're that. You're not getting a movie that was made <laughs> prior yeah. to. We watch Dragnet, right? It, me and the kid sit down and watch Dragnet, Adam, Adam 12, mm-hmm. uh, Bachelor Father, Father's Knows Best, Leave It to Beaver, and Dennis the Menace. We watch this every day. Sure. Right, so I know he's heard almost all of these because I've heard all, almost all, right. all of these. That on makes sense. Well, and, Damn. and her point is... Uh, that some of these things may become extinct. Depending on your age, you you or your kids or grandchildren may have only heard some of the following sounds in old movies, if at all. Um, I heard the typewriter. Because I'm trying to think. I remember uh, my dad's office back in the day when I was a really little kid, when like my grandma was still the secretary. She used a manual typewriter. Mm-hmm. And this was like before I was in school. When we got into school and we started like typing things or whatever, we had like the little Apple II GSs in elementary school. Mm. I'm trying to think was was there typing classes for typewriters before there was computers in school? Did yeah, yeah. Because I oh, took yeah. a uh, I took a keyboarding class in high school, actually that did not use computers. That's my, weird. Yeah, my my well, it would have had to been my mother. To uh, she got her secretarial certificate. Sure. For shorthand and typing when she was in high school and this was she graduated in 72 that was the uh the class i took where i accidentally stabbed myself in the knee with a pencil that's awesome i why because there's and it's to this day there's a little brown spot okay on my knee from where the pencil stabbed in we were doing a timed test Mm -hmm. to see how many words you could type per minute and i'm sitting there typing and i'm typing looking at the book typing over here and I see my pencil in front of the book start to roll, but it's a timed test to see how many you can get per minute. So I couldn't stop and stop the pencil. Mm. So as it rolled off the desk, it rolled down between my legs. So my response was to try to Squeeze. catch it by throwing my <laughs> knees together. Well, it was perfectly perpendicular at the nice. moment. So I caught it between my knees, pulled my <laughs> left knee away, and it just stuck in my right knee. <laughs> Uh, the third one, mm-hmm. I don't even think I know baby. what this is. Mm-hmm. A coffee percolator? Coffee percolator is basically the little silver pot that you see sitting on the counter plugged into the wall. I had to think about it, too. And it helped. When I found the article, they had like pictures or videos okay. where all these big mm-hmm. squares are. I guess I'd have to see it because I heard you, percolator and I think okay, Missy I'll, Elliott. I'll tell you what. Uh, do you see, you've been camping a yeah. time or two. The coffee pots that you get to go camping in? Okay. Okay. Where they have the little basket at the top, you put it on the fire, 
And right. there's that little, like the little part in the lid that sticks up a little bit. The, the water just shoots up through there. Oh, okay. That's a percolator. Weird. Yeah. Uh, number four, a flash cube. Does, yeah. that have, does that have to do with cameras? Yes, yes. it does. Again, I, I'm lost. I've actually used those. Uh, TV channel selectors, number five. And yeah, they it's mean the old click, click, exactly. Click, click. They mean the knobs when you. Oh yeah, I remember click that. Click the knob. Okay. And I know. My, the, and I know my kids heard that firsthand because my grandfather, uh, has still has his old TV set up in the house because it's too damn heavy to take out anywhere. <laughs> and the kid played. They just use it as a table when he lifted up the the skirt that was okay. On it. And saw the nine. Well, I was just saying, my kids heard it because the antenna that we use has a little knob. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> and you could switch between UHF and VHF. Your antenna is so much better than mine. <laughs> well, mine's designed literally, you'll, I'll get frustrated. I'll sit down and I'll start to get static or I'll start to get choppy. So I have to get up and turn it in a notch to see if it comes in any better. Mm. But you have to turn it in a notch, and because it takes it like five seconds to reprogram, you turn it in a notch and then step back to where you just were. Mm-hmm. Wait to make sure it comes in. Yep. Sit down, and it's usually about the time I sit down and lean back that it goes, Dah. Yep, <laughs> exactly. We spend most of our time with our hand in the air. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Do that too. Well, that was the problem yeah. the other Let day. We got a picture. Stop. But I was getting ready for the fights because Fox Channel mm-hmm. 8 is the one that's very hard to come in that was on my beautiful mine. on mine. Yeah, same here. And I was sitting there, I was folding laundry and I was folding big towels. So instead of just sitting here, I had to, my right arm would come all the way out to stretch the towel all the way out <laughs> and it would never fail. I'd get the towel all the way out and it would be like duh, 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 duh. <laughs> I actually watching the fights Friday X or Saturday uh my wife was just tired all day. She slept most of the day while I watched the the fourth Pirates of the Caribbean. Right. How is that, by the way? And that it's okay. I enjoyed okay. it. Yeah, it's okay. Um, and then she woke up and went upstairs. Decided she was going to go to bed about seven o'clock or so. And I just essentially laid with her long enough for her to fall asleep for me to go down and watch the fights. And I had managed to get Fox in, and I I texted Brian about seven thirty or so. And I said, Fox better appreciate what they've got right now <laughs> because I'm watching the Big Bang Theory for the first time ever <laughs> because I'm so afraid to change the channel that I might <laughs> lose it. <laughs> so it was literally about 8 o'clock. And I had, there was a, basically the area between the living room and the kitchen is where I would get interference if I'd walk through there. Mm-hmm. And it started to break up, and it broke up enough that my TV just said, no, this isn't a valid channel anymore, and kicked it out of the tuning. And now you have a new favorite show. And then she heard, and then I was just like, no, 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 (laughs) no, no, no. And to the point that my wife calls down from downstairs, um, (laughs) she calls down from upstairs, uh, is everything okay down there? (laughs) Because apparently she had woken up by something, decided to go to the bathroom, and all she heard was her husband downstairs going, no, 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 no. <laughs> and thought someone perhaps had broken into her house. Not getting robbed, me. making yeah. sure that Channel 8 still works. Or watching porn. Uh, quickly, number six, Record Changer. That's an easy one because I still mm-hmm. have tear tables at my house. Number seven, Gas Station Driveway Bell. Ding, ding. I remember those at Sunoco. Yeah, well, you're not Sonoco, g- uh, Ohio. I'm a sorry. lot of old gas stations still have them. my the, the gas station my dad goes to all the time still has it because I had to read it to see what they meant and it, the driving over the mm-hmm. tube and I worked at a gas station that had it TV station sign off I don't think I ever saw one of those I have seen those it, it, you watch fifty five two long enough you'll see one <laughs> do they do yeah. they, do they well, they play the to, national anthem they? and then they do the I don't know if they do or not but there will be some sort of sign off cash register. Old clunky ones, I the assume. Old, the, yeah, the old push button ones that were. Oh yeah, okay. That would spin the thing at the top. And like would, that know, cat man. still uses at the chamber. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Number ten, film projector. Heard those in school. I think schools are still using those, aren't they? Yeah, I think they have to. Um, Eleven, a broken record. Uh, refer back to number six. <laughs> <laughs> Repeatedly, Repeatedly, refer back to number six, and you'll get the idea. Sure. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, brand new top 13 from Johnny Five. What is it? It is the uh, 13 great ideas for really bad movies. Nobody wants to listen to us this week, so we're just going to vote for ourselves and then leave. You're listening to Project X. Call the show toll-free. 1-888-666-3776. 
1-888-668-0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. Peak 99 Technologies. Affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Jumping from one web host to another can be frustrating. Finding a good web host can be unnerving for even the most experienced of web designers. That's why Uncensored Net Noise has chosen P99 Technologies as its web hosting supplier. Established in 1999, P99 Technologies has evolved into a first-class web hosting provider. Its 99.9% uptime rivals many in the industry. That's why they offer their 30-day guarantee, no questions asked. For more information, go to P99.com. P99 Technologies will help you get started with your web presence with honest and expert customer service. P99 Technologies, affordable and reliable web hosting done right. Oh, wow. Language. Okay, he was PMSing. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network. Rise above the clutter, brand your identity, and make a statement. Broken Fan Media, expert video production, television and web commercials, music video, real estate tours, live concerts and events, state-of-the-art post-production, video and audio editing. Check us out on the web at brokenfanmedia.com, 434-944-0472. Broken Fan Media, the next generation of sight and sound. If you live the lifestyle, then you should arrive in style. Lifestyle limousine service. Whether it's dinner for two, an evening at the winery, or a night out on the town, Lifestyle Limousine provides extraordinary service. Check them out on the web, LifestyleLimousineService.com. Reserve your ride now. 330-903-0508. 330-903-0508. Lifestyle Limousine Service. And make sure you tell them. Morning Show Central Radio Network sent you. Cocaine Energy Supplement. Due to great consumer demand. Redux Beverages has officially announced the return of its world famous Cocaine Energy Supplement. It's now available at retail locations across the country. As well as online at RedoxDirect.com. That's RedoxDirect.com. Don't forget to be part of the all new Cocaine Energy Supplement social network where you can meet other Cocaine Energy Supplement fans from around the world. Cocaine Energy Supplement. You can become a member. You can become a member by logging on to lovecocaine.com. If you're looking for the best in musical equipment, recording gear, sound reinforcement, and more, Guitar Center has you covered. Guitar Center, located at 26635 Brook Park Road in North Olmsted, has the tools of your trade. With the largest selection of music and sound gear in the area, they cater to your musical needs and have the knowledge to help you out. Guitar Center in North Olmsted. MorningShowCentral.com uses them. You should too. Need to know more? Go to GuitarCenter.com. Looking for reliable and affordable shoutcast audio or video hosting jwn media offers complete shoutcast hosting solutions for business or personal use all plans come with full listener stats custom web scripts for implementing your service into your existing website full server control super fast network and huge bandwidth limits a 99.5 percent uptime guarantee and friendly knowledgeable support personnel dedicated to making your hosting experience fun and easy with plans starting at only three dollars a month you have no excuse not to get a server of your own. Plus, with the option to add auto DJ and on-demand services, you can be confident your station will be all it can be. Custom plans are also available at their website. Simply visit jwnmedia.com and click the Shoutcast hosting link to get started right now. Here's some awesome retarded comedy all up in your face. I'm staying at a hotel right now. There's no 13th floor because of superstition. But come on, man. The people on the 14th floor, you know what floor you're really on. If you jump out of the 14th floor hoping to kill yourself, you will die earlier. (laughs) 13 is an unlucky number. If 13 is unlucky, then so should the letter B be, because B looks like a scrunch together 13. (laughs) Hello, what is your name? Bob, get the hell away. for an above ground pool it was 30 seconds long you know why because that's the maximum amount of time you you can depict yourself having fun in an above ground pool (laughs) if it was 31 seconds the people in the pool would be going what the hell what am i supposed to do now the water's only up to here what should i do throw the ball back to jimmy or put some goggles on and look at his feet 
I was going to stay overnight at my friend's house. He said, you're going to have to sleep on the floor. Damn gravity. Got me again. You don't know how bad I want to sleep on the wall. I bought a house. I bought a two-bedroom house. But it's up to me how many bedrooms there are, though, isn't it? This bedroom has an oven in it. This bedroom has a lot of people sitting around watching TV. This bedroom is AKA a hallway. This bedroom's over in that guy's house. Sir, you have one of my bedrooms. Stay out. I got a king size bed. I don't know any kings, but if one came over, I guess he'd be comfortable. Oh, you're a king, you say. Well, you won't believe what I have in store for you. It's to your exact specifications. When I was a boy, I laid in my twin size bed and wondered where my brother was. See, I live in the, in the U.S. If, if you're in the U.S. and you can trick someone into thinking they're in Canada, you can get more money for a magazine. I was at a convenience store reading a magazine. The clerk said, this is not a library. I said, all right, I will talk louder then. I was at a restaurant, I ordered a chicken sandwich, but I don't think the waitress understood me. Because she said, how would you like your eggs? So I tried to answer her anyhow. I said, incubated. And then raised, and then beheaded, and then plucked, and then cut up, and then put onto a grill, and then put onto a bun. Damn, it's gonna take a while. I don't have time. Scrambled. Sore, I put some Carmex on it. Carmex is supposed to heal cold sores. I don't know if it does, but it will make them shiny and more noticeable. Call the show toll free. 1-888-668-0742. You're listening to Morning Show Central Radio Network on MorningShowCentral.com. More conversation that's guaranteed to make God angry. Project X. Have our idiot nominees for each other. <laughs> Mine was a uh, 27-year-old Matthew Mitchell in uh, in the Palestine, Texas area, as uh, police were cleaning up a 1:30 a.m. Sunday morning accident involving a drunken driver who had killed one and injured three in the car he had hit. Uh, 27-year-old Matthew Mitchell, Mitchell attempted to navigate his Chevy Impala through the swirling sea of flashing lights of the fleet of police cruisers and ambulances on the scene. Unfortunately, what he didn't manage to navigate through was the uh, Life Flight's <laughs> chopper tail fin. He, apparently, the damage to the chopper were minor, and they were able to whisk an injured woman to a local hospital. He was quoted by a trooper that was on the scene as asking them why the helicopter was flying so low. <laughs> He was charged with the DWI, and his passenger was charged with public intox. It's kind of rude to charge the passenger, too. Yeah, it is. The passenger didn't want to be in public until his friend got pulled over. Yeah, it, was, <laughs> it was Texas, though. What are you surprised about? No, man. They do. I mean, technically speaking, unless the passenger got out of the car for any reason, I'm saying. he was still on private property. Sure. But you know they pulled him out because they pulled them both out, I'm sure. Espe- especially in Texas, man. <laughs> I still have warrants for not going to court for public intoxes there. They don't like people drinking, but they really do like people drinking. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Uh, Mine was a dude in Sweden who I would have to imagine let his friends put him in a uh, baggage locker at a train station. He couldn't get out, so he had to call police. Uh, Took police about the first they thought it was a hoax. Then they realized it was real. So he was in there for about an hour until he was free. The storage locker was three feet by one foot, Johnny Five. 
Uh, mine is PETA for being pissed off that Mario is wearing a um, Tanuki suit <laughs> so he can fly. What's your top 13? Uh, 13 great ideas to make really bad movies. Let's do it. Sportos, motorheads, geeks, sluts, bloods, waste toys, dweebies, dickheads. They all adore it. They think he's a righteous dude. Number five is alive. Okay, let me just say that except for one of these, I would watch every one of these. <laughs> At least you endorse your own list. I do. Except number six. Okay. I do not endorse number six. Uh, okay, so number 13. Make another doctor, or yeah, another live action Dr. Seuss movie. Oof. Yeah. Uh, number 12. Uh, Steve Buscemi stars as Amy Winehouse. Oh, I would totally watch that. I would. It'd be a horrible movie, but I'd watch it. Uh, number 11. Home Alone 5. Kevin forgets his own kid. <laughs> uh, number 10. Pluto Nash 2. Oh, God. <laughs> we talked about that last week. Yeah, that's kind of why I'd see it, because I had to admit to watching it once. I might as well watch the sequel, too. <laughs> Uh, yeah, number nine, bring back the frat pack. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Uh, number eight, Jeff Goldblum and Hugh Grant as Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Winston Churchill and some World War II style spoof. Nice. Uh, number seven, Keanu Reeves as Captain Bly in the new Mutiny on the Bounty. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? I'd still watch it. I mean, whoa. <laughs> Uh, number six, Adam Sandler and Will Ferrell together in anything. <laughs> I wouldn't watch it. And number five, Henry Winkler as Bernie Madoff. <laughs> the tagline, Fonzie runs a Ponzi. Right? Yes. Uh, number four, Reservoir Dogs the Musical. That I would definitely watch. Yeah. Uh, number three, Tim Burton attempts a comedy starring Jim Carrey. Oh, I'd watch it. Morbid curiosity. I'd have to watch it. It'd be like Lemmy Snicket. Yeah. Uh, no, number two, let Rob Zombie remake It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And number one, relaunch the Godfather franchise with Michael Sarah as Michael Corleone. Oh, God. Oh, uh, you know what? <laughs> okay. You'd watch it, right? I totally would, I think. Because he was. And, you know, in the, in the first one, before everything happened with Sonny, he was a very unassuming kind of awkward cat. Yeah. Now top that with, and I, I, I debated on putting this in there, uh, get Jesse Eisenberg to play Sonny. <laughs> the same hairstyle. The same person. It would, like, there's, like really a, there's a foot height difference and like 30 pounds weight difference, dude. But It's the same friggin' person. Wasn't, uh, what was the one Mutiny on the Bounty movie? Wasn't, wasn't that uh, Sir Anthony Hopkins? I think Hopkins did one. I think, if I'm not mistaken, Mel Gibson did one at one point. Where, was that the same one, or did I see both of them? I can't imagine it was the same one. I saw the one Anthony Hopkins did, I think, for sure, at least, maybe, and liked it. Are you hitting IMDb right now? Yeah. I get the app on my phone. Yeah, but then you will be quicker than I will, sir. I can't imagine that I've seen two Mutiny on the Bounty movies. Well, if you like the first one. I'm saying it was it's the same one. It's gotta be the same one. Chris vote. Otter. Johnny Five vote. Uh Pat. Pat, if you can vote and type at the same time. Uh, I'm going with J five. So am I because I hate PETA. Drum roll, I know the winner. I don't need a tally. <laughs> you sure? Because there's a lot of them. Here. Johnny Five wins. There's one Marlon I've Brando got, and Trevor Howard. I've got Marlon Brando and Richard Harris and Trevor Howard. I know Brando wasn't in it. I have a TV one. I just watched, uh... Damn. The hell's the one Brando movie? The old one, the... the on the Waterfront? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, wow. Hold and I'm on. like, you know the one where he's like a dock worker? <laughs> where, where would he be working in that? <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's it. It's the same one? They're in the same one? No, there's only two listed at all. And it's Marlon Brando, Trevor Howard, and Richard Harris. Okay. And, and that was 62. And in 35 is the one that I think everybody knows. Is, uh, Charles Lawton and, uh, Lofton and Clark Gable. I think that's the one that everybody knows because that's the one that's cited in all like the Looney Tunes 
Well, then, if it wasn't called Mutiny on the Bounty, it was about it. Wasn't it? Maybe it was just called Bounty. Um, or Mel Gibson and Anthony Hopkins, yes! 1984. It's called The Bounty. Yes! Yes! I'm not even saying anything. I'm ending on that note. Bye! <laughs>